day starts in about two hours, so I'm gonna take a shower, get some food, relax, make sure I got plenty of time, maybe a little warm up jog for five minutes. Race is gonna be enough of a warm up 17.1, so I gotta slowly get up and get after it. Having my oatmeal, just had my banana, thinking about the race and realizing yeah, I've never done this race. And uh, typically, most of all the races I've done in my life, uh, I've already practiced sometime before I actually get to the race, whether it's 100 freestyle, uh, 200 freestyle, wherever it is. So, I have no idea what this race is going to be like. The strategy going in is start near the front. I don't want to get caught up by a bunch of people uh, and get stopped. I'm going to start early. Uh, I'm going to push it from the beginning. Obviously not super hard, but one thing I don't want to do is get to the end and have energy left, which I don't think is going to be a problem on this race. But we cannot be afraid to push it from the beginning. If we die, not literally, but if we want run out of energy, we run out of energy. That happens. But you don't want to finish with two miles to go and have a lot of energy. So I'm going to push it. One other thing to really be conscious of in races is that something is going to go wrong. You have no idea what it's going to be. Your goggles are going to break. Your shoelace is going to come undone. Um, you're going to have to really go to the bathroom on the top of the mountain, and there's not going to be a bathroom there, which I really hope does not happen to me. Um, but you got to roll with it. Stay in your own lane. Don't worry if people are cutting you off. Don't worry if the warm-up is crazy. Don't worry if it's way harder and way steeper than you thought. You got to roll with it. Stay in your own lane. Don't look at other people. Focus internally in your heart and in your mind and uh, stay consistent on the pressure. Less than the hour before the race. Y'all, I'm feeling right in here in my heart. Got some jitters going. I'm pretty much all ready to go. Gonna head out there in a little bit. Uh, put my bag on the bus so we'll be ready when I get to the finish line. Um, you know, no one's here to support me. That's my own fault. A uh, good lesson learned for me. I made a mistake thinking that the race was just something I was doing for myself to learn about myself. Um, my wife wanted to come. Originally, my wife and my sister, or my wife and our son, was going to come. And, um, you know, we've been awesome celebrating with them. We've been awesome sharing in the energy. Last night, this morning, after the race. Um, so, yeah, bummer on my part. Lesson learned. I won't make that mistake again. It's not just about learning about yourself, but sharing the experience with other people. So, lesson learned. Y'all, half hour before the race, I am super psyched. I mean, come on, look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous. Starting in your ray, staying at the Uray Inn, they could not have been nicer. Buses that are gonna take us back from Telluride to Uray. Oh my gosh. I've got the jitters. My heart is pumping. I'm gonna get after it, y'all. Start near the front. I'm gonna push from the beginning, like I said, and uh, just enjoy every minute, you know? I'm just thrilled to be able to be healthy enough to be out here, have a strong heart and mind, capable body. That's, gosh, greatest gift we can have in the world. So, thanks for your support. I'm gonna love every minute of this race pain, the misery, the joy, everything. Y'all, it's starting to rain. There's heavy rain on the summit. There's heavy rain at whatever the pass is, upper bird camp, whatever the heck it is. So we're gonna get wet. As I said, you gotta roll with it. Whatever the race brings, you just gotta get after it. I'm super excited. Y'all, you gotta look at this. Ridiculous. Getting into the forest. It's for 
pretty hard. But trying to run as much as I can and definitely run on all the flat parts. Walk some of the really steep parts. bird. I thought I was going to have some tailwind and I actually ended up drinking a glass, <coughs> a glass of pickle juice. I did not expect that but got some tailwind as well so oh my gosh y'all. I got, gotta be honest, the elevation. I'm starting to get a little bit zombie-ish. My heart rate's been at like 150, 160. Feels like for the past hour and a half. <sighs> Hamstring on the right side. It's getting a little bit tight, but you know what? It's how we gotta get after it. No stopping. This is absolutely just a beautiful race. I mean, I wish you guys could see this. Absolutely ridiculous. I encourage everyone to do this at some point in their life. Man, thankful to be out here. this little white glacier cap, whatever the heck it is. I feel my heart beating in my head. Oh, oh look at this. That's what I'm here for. zombieing right now just trying to keep myself with it one step after another haven't stopped not going fast but that's what I came here for beautiful scenery figure out what I'm made of push myself God gotta have a smile on your face when you're doing stuff like this people don't have the opportunities to thankful to be out here and just a little bit more just a little bit more I made it to the summit oh, oh my god thank you oh, there was gym pass baby oh my god here we are wow Yeah, I have to be up here. Unreal. Oh. Here's the gym pass. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Well, y'all had three cups of chicken soup, probably 30 M&M's, 20 pretzels, and now it's for the descent. My God! Oh, I had three Advil too. Putting on my gloves. Oh, 
okay am I to be able to get to do this? About five and a half more miles downhill. Here we go. guys 2.8 left oh, just hit the last refueling station oh my gosh wait hold on hold up look you can see tell you right oh my gosh this is a blast oh my gosh y'all need to do this in the future what a race I'm almost here y'all tell you right is right down there Ski resort. Oh my gosh, look at this valley. Almost there. I've been tripping over some rocks because my legs get fatigued going downhill. But I got under two miles left to go. Sure is nice going downhill. It's supposed to be. 